and welcome to the Bartender Video Tutorials. In this video, we will look at how to set up a document for a card printer. Let's get started by opening Bartender. From the Welcome dialog box, we can start a new Bartender document or open an existing Bartender document. We'll get started by choosing the Start New Bartender Document option. This opens the New Document Wizard. If, for whatever reason, you do not get the Welcome dialog box, you can always come up to the File menu and choose New. This will also open the New Document Wizard. In the New Document Wizard, you have the option to open a blank template or to work on an existing bartender document, which you can select from the files on your computer. Since we're setting up a new document, we'll begin with a blank template. Click Next to continue to the printer selection. Here, you will see all of the printers installed on your computer. If you do not see your card printer, exit the New Document Wizard and install your printer at this time. Go ahead and select your printer and click Next. Bartender contains a list of commonly used cardstocks. The most typical cardstock size is the CR80. If you are using a different stock, you can look through this list and choose that stock. If you need to use a stock that is not in the predefined list, you can choose to enter custom settings by selecting the Specify Custom Settings option. For the purposes of this video and to illustrate the options available in the new document wizard, we will choose Specify Custom Settings and click Next. Here we can choose our card size and change the orientation of our design area. If you choose a predefined stock, you will skip this step in the new document wizard, but if you choose to make a change to the orientation, you can do that using the Page Setup dialog located in the File menu. Notice that we have a preview window that gives us a graphical representation of our document. If we change the orientation from landscape to portrait, notice that the preview window will update to reflect that change. We also have a printer icon that shows how your design will look upon exiting the printer. For example, if we change the orientation from portrait to portrait 180, notice that the text is rotated 180 degrees on our printer icon. If your cardstock has a magnetic stripe on it, it may affect the orientation that you select. In this example, let's choose a landscape orientation and click Next. Here, we can add a number of background features to our design template, such as a background color, a background picture, or a template image. We will cover these features in another video. For now, we will stick to the basic document setup and click Next. This brings us to the end of the new document wizard. Here, we get a review screen that presents us with all of the settings for our document. This is a good time to point out one more useful feature of the wizard, the back button. If we want to go back and make changes to any of the settings, we can always click the back button to make that change. When we click Finish, our new bartender document is created. We can also click Finish at any point in the wizard to go directly to our new document. Finally, all we have left to do is save our document. One last important note, many of these settings can be changed at a later time using the Page Setup option located in the File menu. To quickly recap, creating a new document in Bartender is easy. Simply open the New Document Wizard on Startup or from the File menu and follow through the pages until you get to Finish and Save. If you still have questions about this process, consult the Bartender Help System or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.